We'll need to plan an event for Harmony Hall, preferably the first. A wedding, perhaps. Everyone loves a celebration. Are you trying to anger me? We cannot ignore this, Tatak. Our son is in love with a Macaulay girl. It's only a fetish, I'm sure. And yet she risked her father's wrath to clear his name. And is that love, or just some foolish child's interpretation of it? You were just a child the first time you told me you loved me. She's too kind, too soft. She'll ruin him. I have little interest in being the in-laws of Rafe Macaulay. If we prohibit it, they'll only grow closer. Except we'll have no hold on them. We won't have any say in the decisions that they make. I can't remember the last time there was a wedding in defiance. Can you? If Christy were one of us, if she felt like one of us, if she was part of the family, she'd feel comfortable to come to us for anything. Dear, her father can give her anything she wants. That's true. He works so hard. And such a dangerous job, don't you think? God forbid anything should ever happen to Rafe or Quentin. Christy's already lost so much, and she'd be left with so much to take care of. The mines. Yes, the mines. If we were family, we'd be forced to help her. It's our job to help the children. I appreciate how you see things. Do you appreciate when I do this? I think a wedding is exactly what this town needs. Here, honey, pull the edge of the fabric taut, and then the needle goes in without puckering. That's right. Good girl. You have a quick knack for this. I understand you plan to call off the engagement. Who told you? I know everything, my love. I know your father is putting great pressure on you. He's an asshole. Most men are. It's a characteristic that transcends the species. But to call off the engagement, it's rash. I can't fight him. Just before I left my home world for good, my parents went to great trouble to make sure that I was engaged to a man they deemed suitable. It was a very scary time for me. I was pulled away from my studies and placed onto an ark, away from everything I'd ever known. And the only person beside me was a stranger, not very handsome. But he came from a good caste, and he was a man of great honor. My parents thought that a man of great honor would keep me safe. So what happened? I met someone else. We were in orbit for several weeks before leaving the photon system for good. And he was this scruffy, young nobody. Beautiful, dangerous, with a wicked smile. He'd won payment to Earth on a gambling debt. Day talk. Mm -hmm. He pursued me relentlessly, aggressively, and my intended was furious. He challenged a talk to a Castethan death duel. So they fought. They never got the chance. On his way to the duel, my man of great honor was accidentally flushed out an airlock. It was a tragic accident. How do you get accidentally? To talk was a man I knew loved me beyond all scope of reason. He was a survivor. A man I knew would stop at nothing to keep both of us safe. I understood the man I needed in a way my parents could not. Is this a true story? Christy, my beautiful girl. When it comes to your own happiness, no one can tell you what it is that you need. Not me, and certainly not your father.